Come on, barbecue pit boys. That ah, come on. Listen, we've got a real treat today. We've got ourselves a pit at the pit, and we're gonna cook it on a spit. So Slasher here has himself a pork leg bone. Not any ordinary pork leg bone, but this is a wild boar. Nonetheless, same, same. Let's show you how to do it. Now, this is bone in, of course. So in order to put it on a spit, we're going to have to drill a hole. So we've got a uh, 3 8 inch drill bit here, right? Good and sharp, because those bones are like steel. And we're going to cut a 3 8 inch hole right through it. Perfect. Obviously, this is so we can put in the spit. Now, why are we taking time to use a spit to cook the pig? Because, as most of you know, pork can be dry, right? It can dry out real quick, especially on the grill. So the way to counteract that is to use a little bit of gravity. Mother Nature's or Universe's Nature's of gravity. You spin it and the moisture ain't going anywhere. It's going to stay inside the roast. So that's what we're doing. We're going to spit it, turn it, and it will stay moist and tender guaranteed. Now, if you don't have wild boar in the backyard you can, uh, you can use, well, just go down and get yourself a bone-in pork leg, just like that. Now, Slasher here is uh, giving her a massage, right? Treat her right. Use your fingers the way you're supposed to. Get that olive oil on all of it. And then we're going to coat it in some rub. And here we're using our pork privilege. Use your favorite uh, pork rub. But if you'd like to check out our pork privilege, head on over to our website. Of course, we appreciate your support and we'll get some of it to you. It's also available in some stores in the USA, Canada, and uh, other parts of the world. But uh, ask your store manager. It's Pork Privilege by the Barbecue Pit Boys, and it is awesome. All right, Slashers coated it. Now we need some mopping sauce. So check this out. It starts with a little bit of molasses, and we'll, we'll let Slasher say what's no, in it. Some red pepper flakes. Oh, yeah. A little bit of heat with the sweet. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yeah. And garlic powder. Everything goes better with garlic. SPG. SPG. And some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Some more of that sweet, a little bit of that molasses in it too. Gives it a good stir. Now just one last thing. Don't forget the beer for the pit master and for the mop. <laughs> Use your favorite beer, of course. Nothing like the clam, right? Now, you want to bring it to the grate? Heat it up and let all those flavorings come together. Perfect. The mop is ready. Okay, the spit. This is an ordinary uh, grill attachment. You've probably seen it before. It's got a motor for the spit. And we're uh, setting up the grill about 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, right? High temperature because we're spitting it. We'll start the turn, and it's only going to take, uh, you know, a couple hours, more or less. It won't take long to do. <laughs> All right. It's been on for uh, yeah, maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. Now we're going to hit it with the mop. Oh, coat it good. This is why you're here, right? you got to have something to do, so you might as well... Uh, Mop the pork. Look at that. Uh, aren't you glad this isn't one of those uh, ticky-tocky uh, videos, right? Done in one minute. <laughs> oh, man. You 
take your time, kick back again. And this is what you get. So you're going to be doing this several times during the cook. Anytime you uh, need another cold one, get up, get your brush, do some mopping. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah. Again, it's going to be moist and tender because we are turning it. Perfect. Not long to go. All right, let's check it out. Whew. <laughs> I say it's, uh, we're ready to eat. Now, we've got an internal temperature of about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to let it rest. Pull it off the spit. Perfectly. Let it rest for maybe 15, 20 minutes at the most. Because remember, we're not waiting for the moisture to repermeate this, right? It's still there because of gravity. Look at that. What I tell you? Moist. That'll melt in your mouth. And this is wild boar, too. So this uh, tends to be much more tough. Look at that. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Can you smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, well, you're on the wrong damn channel. Now, you can uh, set this up any way you want on a fancy-ass plate. Carve it off the bone. How about some rice and beans? Oh, yeah. So this is the part where the pitmasters are going to eat it in front of you, and they are not apologizing, as you know. So to get the recipe, head on over to our website. And while you're there... Sign up a chapter. We'd be proud to have you. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.